with me in the studio today is Anna Blundy. She is the author of Double Shot and it's out on Sphere. Welcome to the studio. What's Hello. it all about? Double Shot is about, well, I'll tell you, my sister Charlotte was two when, and I was 19 when our father was killed uh, reporting the war in El Salvador. So this is real, and right? This, well, is this, real. Is no, real this is real. This is me. This is real. And she is now, uh, how old is she? 20. Uh, and she often says to me, I have dreams where you're all lying to me and actually dad's alive and he's in prison or something like that. And I think it's an interesting fantasy that people have when their parents die when they're very young, that if they hadn't died, it would all be all right. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, if he hadn't died, he'd be in his 60s, he chain smoked all his life, you know, he'd probably have lung cancer. It wouldn't be the answer to anything. He'd be leaning on us mm -hmm. by now. What did your so dad do before he died? He was a war correspondent. Right. He was reporting the war in uh, El Salvador when he was killed. And so in this book, he is resurrected. And in true life, as my son would say, before he died, uh, he was writing a book about Lockerbie, which he never finished. He seemed to know an awful lot about Lockerbie, oddly. And I wondered, you know, was he secretly an MI6? Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. But So when was this, 80? This was, he was killed 90? in 89. Right, okay. yeah, He was killed in 1989, November the 17th. Um, and so in this book, Faith Sonetti, my heroine, is, she's a journalist, a war correspondent as well. She is asked to write a piece about Lockerbie for an anniversary edition. I've renamed it Cambridge, but you know, it's recognizable basically. And she's writing this piece and the more she investigates, the more she finds that it's kind of all about her and it is. And that's what the book's about. So it's a thriller. It's about the dead being resurrected. It's about a terrible plane crash. Um, and it's, it's about an together. investigation. Okay. Now You've written about Faith Zanetti before. This is sort of four or five? That's four or five, yes. There are five of these books, yes. And uh, again, the, I, the concept is, is that she, she is this sort of correspondent. She's, a, she's beautiful, yep. she's intelligent, yep. she speaks all these wonderful yep. languages, she does all these me, rock and roll things. Me, me, me. But, but <laughs> if, if we look back on, you know, Anna Blundy, you, and, and find out a little bit about you, there's, there's elements of your life that are absolutely bang on. No, th th there are. I mean, it, they are very autobiographical. It's, it's, it's what my uh, editor calls uh, fantasy autobiography. Um, so, you know, I wish that I was uh, beautiful as hard and brave. As and, and well, you are. To, Absolutely so. My, my. And, uh, you know, went to all these amazing places and was as cool as she is. You but know? you did go to the main. You, you, were, you were a correspondent in Russia. You speak fluent Russian. You went to Oxford, you know, and did your degree there. You, I mean, I, you've got, you have got an incredible sort of Faith tick would box. never have gone to university. She was too busy kind of smoking fags and drinking vodka somewhere exciting. That's Moscow. where you would have liked to have yeah. been instead, is <laughs> yes, what you're exactly. really saying. Yeah, exactly. It's a fantasy autobiography. Okay. So it's vicariously sort of through each yeah. other that you survive. And I have been to all the places that she went to, but I didn't, you know get shot or uh, rescue anyone from a burning helicopter or anything. These are the things that Faith does. So, so she's, she's a little bit of you, she's yes. a little bit of fiction, and she's a little bit of your, your dad. Yeah, she is. Um, and is this, a, is this some kind of therapy to write this book? What, what's the no, reason behind it? Writing? No, it isn't. It's just fun. You know, I've, I, I've, I, wrote a, uh, I wrote a book about a memoir of my father years ago. I've kind of done the therapy bit. Um, the, these are a laugh. It's a very funny world. And the, the, the world of these quite 70s mm. style war correspondents. Yeah. You know, they, I sat with them when I was a little girl. I would sit in in um, in bars, you know, in Jerusalem and in New York, you know, with these blokes of smoking a fur whiskey, you know. <laughs> and my dad was amazingly handsome, a famous womanizer, you know, chain smoker, usually pissed. And I mean, there's at least were, four books in you know, that, you know, yeah. just in those sentences. I mean, they're just very funny people. And I have never read before I wrote them books that really show you how they speak. Right. You know, they speak in a very particular way that's familiar to anyone who is from that world. But you don't get you know, they don't get written about, not really. You know, when you see films about journalists, like something like The Pelican Brief, you know, they speak in this terribly serious, pompous, earnest way, and I'm going to discover the well, they truth. Do, I mean, they Whereas do. actually, English war correspondents are irreverent and drunk. And, and quite gritty. And, and very gritty. A little bit disheveled. And you know what? I think the big secret about n the news is, is that they're all doing it for fun. There isn't anybody there who is doing it for anything other mm. than fun. They were having an absolute Well, they, they get a big adrenaline rush from sitting in. Well, they get an adrenaline rush. They get laid easily because they're so important. <laughs> they, I'm in you the know, wrong job. They're drunk all the time. We all are. Well, it doesn't work so well for a woman, although it does for Faith. Yes. 
But, uh, you know, but, I mean, having, sitting in the bar of the American Colony Hotel in Jerusalem of an evening, what could be more wonderful? And be paid. Well, listen, Anna Blundy, thank you very much for coming in to talk to us.